Okay, let's be honest, the early leaks of the DJI Mini 5 Pro had us all a little concerned. Remember those weird cage-like propeller guards that made it look like a flying waffle iron? Yeah, not the sleek, futuristic drone we were hoping for. But now, we finally have clarity, and the good news is, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is not just back on track, it might just be DJI's biggest leap forward yet. So, buckle up drone lovers, because today, we're diving deep into everything. We know so far about the DJI Mini 5 Pro. And there's a surprise twist at the end involving GoPro. Spoiler alert, it's juicy. Let's start with the design. A fresh video shared by Maro Tandoy on X shows the Mini 5 Pro sitting next to a mountain biker. And no bulky guards in sight. Instead, we've got sleek folding propellers, robust vented motors, and a streamlined body that screams performance. DJI's clearly listen to the feedback. Because this design looks nothing like the clunky prototypes we saw earlier. It's back to the ultralight, ultra-sexy form factor we've come to love from the mini-series. And here's the kicker, according to drone leaker Jasper Ellens. The official launch is now set for August 7, 2025, a whole month earlier than anyone expected. So yes, the countdown has officially begun. Let's talk cameras, because this is where things get spicy. The Mini 5 Pro is expected to pack a 1-inch image sensor. That's a huge upgrade, especially for a sub to 5 OG drone. For those unfamiliar with camera lingo, that means better low-light performance, sharper images, and more cinematic video, even during sunrise, sunset, or those moody cloudy days when the light's acting up dotto and the gimbal. It looks like DJI ditched the traditional protective flaps around it, probably to allow for full 360 rotation. That opens up insane creative possibilities. Imagine spinning orbital shots, dramatic fly-ins, and buttery pans, all with that smooth DJI magic. Moving on, let's talk brains. The Mini 5 Pro is getting a front-facing LR sensor, which is part of DJI's 3D infrared obstacle detection system, if that sounds familiar. That's because it's based on tech we saw in the Mavic 4 and Air 3. It can detect obstacles up to 25 meters away with a 60 field of view, and it's optimized for low-light environments, too. Perfect for those twilight flights or sneaky indoor shoots. Plus, the larger bulges on the drone's frame likely house these upgraded sensors without limiting the gimbal movement. Now here's the part that really blew our minds, the battery. Leaked FCC documents show a 4,680 mAh battery rated at 33.5 watt hours, which is a major upgrade over both the Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro. Translation. This baby might hit 50 to 55 minutes of flight time on a single charge. Yes, you heard that right. Almost a full hour in the air. That's like binge watching an entire episode of your favorite show while flying a drone the whole time. Incredible and there's even talk of fast charging and a plus battery option that pushes endurance even further. At this rate, DJ I might need to start including snacks in the fly more combo. You're gonna be up there for a while. Performance dash wise, the Mini 5 Pro isn't pulling any punches. Expect vented motors. For better cooling, quick release props finally, no more tiny screws and 30 to gigabytes of built in storage. So, even if you forget your SD card, you're still covered for emergency footage. It'll use DJI's latest O for transmission system with a 20 kilometers range and support for all your favorite gear, RC2, Rikin 3, motion controllers, even DJI goggles 3. For FPV flight, just don't fly it into your neighbor's backyard, okay? And wait, there's a rumor about voice control and a new dedicated shot button. So you can launch pre-programmed flight paths even without a controller. It's like telling your drone, yo! Do the cinematic orbit thing, and it just does it. Mind, blown dot now, what about the price? Well, the base version with the RC and the controller and one battery is expected to start at $850. The Fly More combo, which comes with the RC to smart controller, could go up to $1,100. That puts it between the Mini for Pro $759 and the Air. 3S $1,099, which makes sense for a drone with this level of features. Mark your calendars, September 2025 is the big reveal. But keep an eye out, with all these leaks, DJ I could pull an Apple-style surprise drop any day now. But wait, we're not done yet, because while DJ I is preparing to dominate the skies, GoPro might finally be cooking up something exciting. On the ground, the GoPro Hero 14 Black is rumored to launch on September 20, 2025, and it could feature a 1-inch sensor. 
something fans have begged for. It's expected to have a larger edge to edge screen, improved controls, AGP3 chip, and possibly even a built in heat sink to solve those overheating problems that made GoPros. Double as hand WARMERS. No jump in resolution, but better clarity and color depth thanks to that new sensor. If GoPro pulls this off, the Hero 14 could actually challenge DJI's Osmo Action lineup again. So there you have it. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is shaping up to be a game changer. Longer flight times. A 1-inch sensor. 360 gimbal. Voice controls. This might be the ultimate drone for creators, travelers, and anyone who just loves that feeling of flight. And hey, if GoPro makes a real comeback. 2025 could be an epic year for content creators. What are you most excited about? The 360 camera movement, the insane battery life, or GoPro's potential return to glory? Let me know in the comments. Dot if this video helped you out, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any DJI, GoPro, or drone news. And check out these videos on screen. For more deep dives into upcoming drone tech. Dot thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.